former presidential hopeful Ron Paul. We're not really positive who uh, who set off the gas. I mean, the per the group that's most likely to benefit from that is Al Qaeda. Did President Bashar Assad gas his own people? Not according to a growing number of skeptics, including Alex Jones, syndicated radio talk show host. I don't know who launched the chemical attack, but all the evidence leans towards the rebels having the motive to do it. And the Russians have put out a new report saying they have proof the rebels did it back in March of this year. All right, so what kind of proof is there that the rebels would do this? I mean, the rebels supposedly are supporting the people of Syria. They would actually sacrifice their own people in order to draw America into this war to start World War III? Well, look, uh, the, the rebels are made up of jihadis, al-Qaeda, and some domestic Syrians, but around 60 percent, many studies show, are al-Qaeda, are jihadis. They've been wiping out whole Christian villages. So the, I don't think the rebels represent the Syrian people. In the during the G20 summit, Russian President Putin reportedly offered world leaders a 100-page report detailing alleged evidence that it was the rebels, not forces loyal to Assad, that were behind the hideous gas attack. The Russian warned the United States and its allies not to conduct a military strike against the regime until the United Nations completes its own detailed scientific study of the August 21st attack. I know you're a conspiracy theorist, but wouldn't you want to see some kind of physical evidence that the rebels have some kind of responsibility before blaming the rebels or before saying that Assad is innocent of killing his own people? Well, I mean, come on. Obama is putting out conspiracy theories. He said, I have a red line one year ago. Now he says he never said that. Kerry said, no boots on the ground. Now he says, well, we need them. I mean, is questioning known liars a conspiracy theorist? We need to not get involved with this war. I don't understand why Obama is even doing it, to be honest with you. And this isn't a Republican or Democrat thing. This is an American thing. And if we don't get out of this war right now, we're going to get stuck in the middle of it. Do you think that this information is coming out uh, because people really think that this is a conspiracy or are all people just getting sick of war? I think people are sick of war. And look, Libya, I mean, uh, look what happened there. I mean, that was clearly a setup to put al-Qaeda in charge. As horrible as 